boys let us start this beautiful day by invoking god's presence we join our hands let us pray pray before class father we thank you for the night and for the pleasant morning light for rest and food and loving care and all that makes the world so fair help us to do the things we should to be to others kind and good in all we do in all we say to grow more loving every day good morning boys Sit in an erect posture. Close your eyes and just follow me along. When we begin meditating, one of the first methods we learn is how to settle our attention on the breath. This disciplines the mind to focus on a single activity at a time. It actually takes a lot of willpower. to set the mental clutter and the chit chat aside and concentrate on here and now please sit again it's a request please sit in a relaxed posture let us begin with an area of life in your mind choose an area where you have been struggling or would like to experience some transformation now begin to imagine the highest possible outcome that you would like to be living in this area of your life in the coming 6 to 12 months from now imagine your life the way you would like to live try not to hung up on the limitations or negativity instead just allow yourself to get carried away with your wildest aspirations continue breathing now connect with one goal you would like to achieve in the next 3 months make it a good one if you choose a goal that doesn't carry a lot of weight or isn't meaningful the end result won't feel special for you so be sure to choose something that is big enough that once you carried out this goal will be left with a high level of accomplishment you will feel super motivated when you set your next goal continue breathing slowly inhale Take a deep breath. Exhale. Now that you are connected with your goal, imagine what your life will be like once you have completed it. Create a picture or a movie in your mind, and step inside the visual representation as if you are inside it and looking through your own eyes. adjust all the qualities of sensory perception like taste touch sight sound and smell create the most positive and the most real feelings of your vision in life imagine who's there with you where are you what is happening to you around continue breathing as you breathe use your breath to energize the image filling it with positive energy and intention now it's 
it's time to imagine floating out into the future and visualize dropping the internal representation of your goal down into your life you have set this goal to reach your completion notice once you have imagined notice how the events between then and now reevaluate themselves to support you in accomplishing your goal visualize this process to make it feel real continue breathing now once you have imagined once you feel complete come back to now with your eyes still closed consider what action steps you will take in the next week to move closer to your goal take a few deep breaths to ground yourself before opening your eyes at the last you must take action and maintain your focus every single day do something that moves you closer to realizing your goal and living your dream boys do this process once a week and upon completion of your action you will see that moving powerfully forward towards achieving your goal and living your vision is within your reach thing is believing so use your mind to create your most compelling future good morning and have a good day okay uh, the, i request shubh to please start with this a young man asked socrates the secret to success socrates told the young man to meet him near the river the next morning they met socrates asked the young man to walk with him towards the river when they brought when they went to the river the water got up to their neck and socrates dipped the young man into the water by surprise the boy struggled to get out but socrates was strong enough to keep him in the water the first thing the young man did was to gasp and take a deep breath of air socrates asked the young man what did you want the most when you were there inside the water the boy replied air socrates said that is the secret to success when you want success as badly as you want it air then you will get it there is no other secret Milka Singh was born in 1935. He was a resident of Lalpur in Pakistan. He had to leave the house and flee during the India-Pakistan partition. He was just 10 years old. Now Lalpur, currently Faisalabad, was a part of Pakistan. He survived because of his talent of sprinting. During the partition between India and Pakistan, riots broke out on both the sides. people were trying to get back to their country and one of them was little milka with his two sisters after having faced lot of struggles and hardships he decided to become a robber his sister was not happy with the decision he did petty jobs like working in a garage and running errands to live his own His sisters convinced him to join the army. He proved himself by winning lots of medals and trophies in sports. Day by day, his running skills got better and better.
Milka Singh on the podium. The Pakistani coach greets Milka. What a race. It was a pleasure to watch you run and it is a pleasure to award you with the title of Flying Sick. Milka Singh was awarded with the Padma Shri in 1959, Asian Games medals in 1958 and 1962, the 1956 Summer Olympics in Melbourne, the 1960 Summer Olympics in Rome and the 1964 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. Singh was promoted from the rank of sepoy to junior commissioner officer in recognition of his success in 1958 Asian Games. He subsequently became the director of sports in Punjab Ministry of Education, a post he retired from in 1998. Singh was awarded the Padma Shri, India's fourth highest civilian award, following his success in 1958. All of Singh's medal have been donated to the nation. They were displayed at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in New Delhi and later moved to a sports museum in Patiala, where a pair of running shoes that he wore in Rome are also displayed. In 2012, he donated the Adidas shoes that he wore, had worn in the 1960 400-meter to be sold in charity auction organized by actor Rahul Bose. Singh was admitted to the intensive care unit at the Fortis Hospital in Mohali on 24 May 2021 with pneumonia caused by COVID-19. His condition was for a while described as stable but he died on 18 June 2021 in Chhattisgarh. Success is not something that you run into by accident. It takes a lot of preparation and character. Everyone likes to win, but how many are willing to put in that effort to win? It takes sacrifice and self-discipline to win. There is no subtitle for hard work. Henry Ford said, the harder you work, the luckier you get. Steve Jobs has been known as an iconic figure for the establishment of Apple like the biggest company. However, it is extremely shocking to note that the $2 billion company with over 12,000 employees has been started with only two persons in a garage. It is also to be noticed that the great establisher has been dismissed and fired from the company from which he has started his career. Further realizing his potential and capabilities, Steve Jobs proceeded further towards establishing the biggest company which is famously known as Apple. We are going to send 1 million Macintosh units in the first 90 days and then 20,000 in the next 30 days. That's impossible. That's very big. We can only send 200,000 units in the first 90 days. Just chill. We are going to rock it. Steve's plan was to sell 1 million units in the first 90 days. That means 3,30,000 units every 30 days. But unfortunately, only 35,000 units were sold every 30 days when it came in market. And in the last month only, 500 units were sold. Apple computers closed two factories because of the loss. Shares are also falling, and so the Macintosh product is also on the loss. 
we have to make a new computer, which is a simple one, and we have to take it from the resources of the Macintosh computer. No, that is not even possible. Macintosh is overpriced. This does not make any sense. That's the only option there. And there's no evidence about it. I am the evidence. I am the leading expert of Mac in the whole world. And I sat in the garage with Woz and created this. This is the future. So what? I am the CEO of Apple. Let everyone decide over here what to do. I think you should leave. Yes, yes. I think you should leave. Okay, I leave. Steve Jobs is opening a new company and making a new computer after getting fired from Apple. Apple had a new competitor after the big crash of Apple. We have got to know that Steve Jobs is making the black cube, which is aimed at the education market. There are only few people that have ability to make a change and Steve Jobs is one of them. Guys, our company is going to a loss and all the products we have made have gone about the loss of 80,000. I know only one person on this earth who can fix all of this. And so, I've got Steve back to this company. Welcome Steve. Apple computer has fallen on hard times since they released another computer after firing Steve Jobs and Apple dismissed about 2,500 employees after losing all its shares in the market. In 1980, Apple had 30% shares but now it's only 2%. The CEO of Apple has requested Steve Jobs to return back to Apple and help it revive. Whether the concerned person is a child, youth, or the old age. At each and every stage of our wild lifespan, it is our inbuilt desire to be successful and proceed forward consistently towards more massive success. The mentality of competing with each other can frequently be noticed, noticed at any of the places including schools, colleges, coaching, working fields, including organizations and offices. To name a few, as a comparison to our efforts towards the work to get success, we often get much more and want success to knock our doors very soon. There stand several such examples all over the world. Most of the iconic personalities have previously faced such serious failures in their lives struggles. Yet they continued on their way to success and finally achieved massive success in their entire life. No caste, creed, religion or color stopped them to do this. Mary Com, an inspiration for all of us. Mary was born in Kangathe village in Manipur. She came from a poor family. Her parents were farmers and Mary also helped them in field related work. She was interested in sports from an early age. She completed her primary schooling and then went to Moirang to complete her education. Later, she was inspired by Dinko Singh, a boxer who won a gold medal in boxing. She started training under her first coach and with that she also started her journey to success. She won a silver at her first international championship at USA and then came a multitude of medals and achievements. She has even gained fame and appraisal at the Olympics. 
and despite her difficulties and hardships she did not look back because as per maricom nothing is impossible Neeraj Chopra the inspiration for the youth Neeraj Chopra won the gold medal for India in the men's javelin throw Neeraj Chopra won the match by throwing a javelin to a distance of 50.23 meters at the 2017 Asian Championship After years of training and hard work Neeraj Chopra did the impossible. He won another gold medal in the Tokyo Games 2020 for India. And it's this hard work that inspires not hundreds but millions of people around the world. Yes, so. Now I would like to call upon Father Rector to speak a few words about our assembly. Good morning to all present here for the assembly, and uh, we thank the Manoj Kohli, the class teacher of the ninth C. along with all the students who have inspired us today with uh, many inspirational examples on helping us to succeed in life uh, they explained to us what success is and they gave us many beautiful examples of successful people uh, in the country and in the world at large Uh, 
I just like to clarify, you know, uh, a myth that we have about success. Sometimes we feel that only people who are famous or people who become very rich, uh, who have a big house, the latest car and all the possible luxuries in life, they are successful people and uh, on the other hand we feel people who are poor are failures in life but that is not true you know uh, some of the most successful people uh, are not very famous are not very rich and uh, you will find those inspirational people and uh, those stories in your own families and in your own homes. Our fa fathers and mothers have worked very hard and they have brought us up and that itself is a success story. Yeah. Uh, some of our teachers in the school have worked uh, year after year, day after day, you know, doing the same routine uh, and have brought into the world so many successful people uh, and they have been successful educators. So success is not only about becoming famous or becoming the richest. Success is about becoming a better person. And if at the end of your life, uh, you can say that I have become a better person, I have become a happy person, I have lived a happy life, then you are successful. Your name may not come on the headlines of any newspaper or people may not uh, talk about you and give you medals and awards, but if deep down in your heart you know that you are a person with values, you have stood by your convictions and you have done what is right, then I think uh, you have been successful in your own right. Good morning and have a nice day. Good morning, Vada. Yes. Now, I would like to call upon Father Principal to speak about our assembly. Good morning to all of you. Am I audible, Manoj? Yes, Father. Okay, so in the first place, congratulations to your class teacher, Sir Manoj, and to all of you, dear boys of Standard 9C, for giving us a very, uh, in inverted commas, motivational assembly. Okay, it uh, made us think, made us reflect, and uh, also made us resolve to set our goals right and to be motivated to achieve these goals. There were quite a few points uh, that were quite impressive during the assembly. I wish to congratulate your class teacher, Sir Manoj, for a very well conducted uh, meditation. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you were really paying attention to all that Sir Manoj was trying to tell us during this meditation. And at the end, he also asked us to do this every week, to try this exercise every week. You know, this whole uh, exercise of setting a goal, imagining it, okay, three months hence, what is going to happen. And then at the end, he asked us not to move backward, but to move forward. So, Samanoj, thanks for this uh, nice uh, meditation that you give us as an exercise to be practiced uh, not only really once but uh, right through the weeks ahead if uh, if you have not read the book stay hungry stay foolish it's time that you read the book because your assembly was based on this book and many of the reflections uh, was uh, you know the ideas from this book uh, another thing that I liked of this assembly was uh, there was a nice flow to the assembly you provided uh, a good theme of course but there was a flow to this entire theme of the assembly you know you give us motivational heroes 
and uh, these were interspersed with motivational lines. Uh, you know, it kept reminding us of what is important to stay grounded, to stay focused, to, to stay motivated. And uh, the ones who visioned, or who thought of this assembly, uh, I commend you for this. Okay, it was nice. It was uh, commendable. Congratulations to you also for taking time to come maybe on the campus and uh, present and record these scene, scenes, maybe in the library, on the grounds. I was quite happy to see the Milka Singh of today running on the ground and getting the prize, you know, yeah. But good, nice, you made it quite real. Uh, you gave us beautiful examples of Milka Singh, Steve Job, Mary Com, and uh, the latest hero that we have of the Olympics that is Nirat Chopra. Uh, many examples that we have got to emulate and as Father Rector mentioned also, we have our own examples in our own families and in our homes, in our own neighborhoods. Let's try to emulate them and be inspired by them. So congratulations once again and thanks to all of you. Well done. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Uh, boys, uh, please compose yourselves. Please join our hands. I request you all to please join your hands, compose yourselves. Let us conclude this assembly with a prayer to God, requesting God to fulfill your wishes and whatever vision you have in life. Let us pray, be a God. I know you have a plan to give me a future. I know you hear me when I call. Please God, I'm calling on you now to help me get good grades on my upcoming exams. I need your help to succeed. I know I cannot do it on my own. Please give me the confidence and the peace of knowing that I can do well in my exams. Wishing you all the boys good luck for your coming terminal exams. Now, I would like to request Miss Christina, please share a few words with us. Good morning, Manoj. Good morning, fathers, members of the staff, and you, my dear boys of 9C. It was an inspirational and motivational assembly, as father pointed out, but uh, at various points, it had a lot of meaning for me uh, personally, considering what I'm going through just now. So uh, I guess it was a good day and a good assembly for me to attend because on, on Tuesdays, I usually miss it because of class, but Wednesdays, I'm fortunate to get it. Thanks for portraying that. And I guess uh, it was the right time for me to be there. The children spoke well and it truly meant a lot to see them in the school campus at various places, making it real and, you know, kind of bringing them with the connect of school, which they are so badly missing. Well done, Nancy. Well done, Manoj. Thank you. Thanks. Miss. Thank you miss. And I'm going to have to leave because it's class and yeah. I've already generated yeah. the link. Thank you. Yeah, once. Thank you. Okay. Sir, Sir Rai, would you like to say something, Sir Rai? Yes, sir. Really, it was a very good assembly. Your voice and you have prepared very well. You have Thank covered you so all the points of a good assembly. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you, sir. Ms. Reshma. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, Manoj and boys. A successful story of Milka Singh, truly flying the sick. Even the story of Steve Jobs, uh, CEO of Apple, Mary Tom's story, and even the Neeraj Chopra, well presented assembly, and I saw that Sachman. I think he is a new boy uh, this yeah. year. New admission he took. Sachman was there, correct? Sachman, I met him in the school. Good, very good, very good boys. Good. Yeah. Thank you, dear father. Manoj, before yeah. before I end, uh, you know, yeah. I want to place a few intentions before our boys for prayer. Yes, okay, one is uh, Sir Clifford, you know, a vice principal, yeah. yesterday lost his mother. Okay, she was hospitalized for some time 
And uh, we assure Sir Clifford of our prayers during these uh, difficult times, moments of loss. You know, losing your mother and especially a dear member of the family is uh, painful. So we assure Sir Clifford of our prayers and uh, also pray for the repose of his mother's soul. Secondly, Miss Christina mentioned also about uh, what she's going through. Well, Miss Christina went through a surgery and she's recuperating. It's taking a little longer time than expected, but we pray for her quick recovery. And I want you again to pray for one of our teachers, uh, Mrs. Rina, who will be who has already underwent undergone uh, some uh, cycles of chemotherapy. And uh, she will be going to another medical procedure, an important and uh, risky medical procedure. We ask God to bless her. Uh, yes. Yeah. So thank you, dear Father Rector, dear Father Principal, Ms. Christina, Sir Rai, Ms. Reshma, for giving your valuable time and joining us for our class assembly. Thank you, Father.